Hey everybody, it's Agent KK here, hoping my camera won't fall again. Ah, this is fun. Oh god, it's that word again. Well, anyway, last time we got to Duford Town, we took on the gym. We actually got the fighting badge, which I have to say is pretty sad, considering Brawly only had two Pokemon. And now we're gonna go find Steven, his best buddy. Or, well, was he his best buddy? I don't even know. So as we can see here, there's a lot of people. Lots of stuff. There's a fisherman. There's a hiker guy over here, actually. Uh, anything over here? Ah! Yes, there is. It's another guy. <laughs> and a protein. That's cool. Um... Yeah, so what we're doing up here is exploring, trying to find some stuff, uh, specifically Steven, to go give him that letter from the guy at Devoncorp. Let's go. Oh no! Geez, surprise, surprise, there's a guy who wants to battle. You know, I could have perfectly avoided him. I really could have. Uh, Backpacker Grim? Is that how you pronounce that name? I don't even know. Um, and he has one slack off, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty sad. You know how they say people look like their pets? <laughs> kind of wondering if that means this guy's really lazy. In any case, just use Ember, and, oh, he did not fall asleep. Well, that's something he's gonna remember. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go ahead and keep going with this. Hopefully we can... Yep, yep, there we go, he's dead. And now we'll be on our merry way. Woo! Yay! I'm getting up in the world and of course our camera's going up too. It's going up in smoke. Whoa! Flame Charge! I love Flame Charge. Let's go ahead and forget Ember. I know that Ember has more PP, but I don't give two creds, honestly. <laughs> I've gotten through many battles with moves that only have five. <laughs> Having, like, I don't know, four moves that had five PP before. <laughs> Pretty sure I've done that. That was great. You grew up with the Raging Seas, didn't you? It's like, uh, nope, definitely did not. <laughs> but I don't get seasickness, actually. I get car sickness, but not seasickness for some reason. I've been on a boat before. I don't get seasick. Which is really strange to me, honestly. I would have expected that I would have gotten seasick, but I guess I don't. You know, it's funny. I'm more talkative today than I have been in a while. Oh, no, it's a sand slide. Wait, what? What? That, I, okay, I was expecting that guy to say something, but I guess not. Aw, it's a Makuhita! I love Makuhita. Oh, it's only level 9, that's sad. Uh, another one of those situations where I'm just like, I kind of wish I had a fairy type move. Because fairy types, I'm fairly sure, are actually super effective against fighting types. Unless- no, it's dark types that they're super effective against, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Aw, dang it. I'm, I'm- oops. Remembering my type matchups wrong. Hey you, it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. Well, for us hikers, helping out those that we meet is our motto. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you. Whoa, we got TM70 Flash! Teach that TM Flash to a Pokemon and use it. It lights up even the inky darkness of caves. Okay. Uh, thanks, dude. That's nice. Unfortunately, that means I need to go ahead and teach some- Aw, oh, the only one who can use it is Silky! Cool. Yay! Lightning Flash. 
kind of wish that my camera stand wasn't so dang horrible. But, them's the brakes. Let's go. Onward! My fancy companions. Ooh, what's this? Whoa, cave drawings. Whoa, more cave drawings. Whoa! <laughs> oh, it's all one cave drawing. That's cool. Look at that. It's great. Love that art. Looks like, uh, magical legendary right there. And who's this Fabu ba Fabu Babu? Hello there, mister. Mm-hmm. So in the ancient world, their primal forms once held this much power. The super ancient Pokemon, what terrible strength. But this appearance here, it seems somehow different from Mega Evolution. Hmm, seems my questions will not be answered today. Hmm? You are? I'm mute! <laughs> ah, I see. It's a pleasure, Angel47. Did you just pick up my ID and read it? My apologies. My name is Steven. I am interested in rare stones, so I traveled here and there. Today, my journey brought me here, but what about you? Oh, a letter for me? There you go. Why, thank you. It must have been some trouble to track me down. I suppose I must repay you in some way. Let me see. I will give you this TM. Please accept it. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. Yeah! Cool. I like Steel Wing. If you don't mind me asking, do you feel anything in particular when you look up at this wall? A primal world lost thousands of years in the past. A legendary Pokemon of tremendous power became the humanity's greatest threat. The terror aroused by that power is clear to see in this ancient artwork. Yes. But not all power is terrible. Your Pokémon are clearly quite capable as well. Looking at you all together, I think that you have what it takes- Having you what it takes to become a Pokémon League Champion. As long as you keep training, that is. Oh, well, thanks. Good luck to you. I must be going now. Uh, bye? Yeah, okay. So we just met up with Steven. Cool. Steve, wait, come back! You're in my backpack. It is a cave painting that depicts a giant Pokemon-like creature wreaking ha havoc. Blech. There is a symbol resembling the character Omega on each of the beast's two arms. Sorry, I'm not very good with these symbol things. I'm pretty sure that symbol is Omega. Please don't kill me. Please really don't kill me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh god, we got attacked by something. What is it? Ah, it's cave cancer. Uh, <laughs> I need a thesaurus. <laughs> need some better words. Uh, so do we just go back and tell the guy we found him? Or <laughs> what are we doing with our lives? Uh, oh, oh, it looks as though you have de delivered your chit good and proper. Ah, but that reminds me. I've had a message from President Stone saying he has another favor to ask. It's about the Devon pots you recovered for him before. Seems as though they should go to some fellow called Stern at Sleepport Shipyard. This old sea dog will see you there sh safely. Way anchors, where for Sleepport? Ah. Uh, Okay, was I supposed to go get the stuff from him, or...? That's great. Oh! What a wonderful sight to see all those little lines on the screen. Ahoy! We've made land in Slateport! I suppose you're off to visit Captain Stern and deliver those Devon parts. Oh, I didn't realize you would attack me. I've laid anchor in ports around the world, but Slateport's the best. 
Oh, you uh, sound pretty adamant about that. You're challenged by Sailor Huey. Where's Dewey and Louie? Oh, we de oh. defeated Huey. You're the best. Wait, what? I just beat you up. <laughs> and took your money. Okay. So, how do you get through this town? Oh! Cool. What's this? Do you know this TM secret power? Our group, we love the TM secret power. One of our members will give it to you. Come back and show me if you get it. We'll accept you as a member and sell you good stuff in secrecy. Sounds like the black market. Whew, sorry for the little cut we experienced there in between. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, I had to go help out my family with, uh, what's it called? Um, preparing chili, green chili specifically, and now my hands are burning, so that's great. Uh, ow, it really hurts. <laughs> what are we doing here again? Oh yeah, we have to go find that guy at the porthouse. Um, if we can even find- Hi? Bad guys? Hey, you there! Don't cut in! Uh, okay. Oceanic Museum. Team Magma's policy is assembling and dispersing at the operation site. Okay. Y'all are weird. <laughs> Ow, my lungs are burning too. Okay, this is the arbor. Does that mean it's also the shipyard? I don't think so. I think the shipyard is where all the ships would gather, right? And, whoa, hello. Contests? <gasps> is this like the contest in, um, Pearl? Oh my god, I hope so, because I love those things growing up. Those are my favorite. I used to just go back to that one city all of the time specifically to go do the contests and I think in that city was also the poffins so I would also go back just for those for those oh yeah and then there was that poke park I loved that thing that was my favorite growing up dude I was such a dork for that like if someone gave me that kind of thing and just sat me in front of it I would be stuck there the entire day just playing with that game because, you know, I love that game so much. I grew up with it. Why do you not like clowns? Because clowns are scary. It's still scary. You mean funny? Oh my gosh. Clowns are not funny. Get out of my room. Well, let's, uh, get back into playing, shall we? <laughs> Where are we, anyway? Boring battles aren't worth the effort. Fiery hot battles are what toughen up trainers and Pokemon. Oh god. You're challenged by beauty Joanna. She is beautiful, though. Like, what? Actually, I think the beauties in this game are a lot prettier than the ones in Moon. If I'm gonna be honest, I really like the ones in this game. The ones in Moon are okay. I, I don't think they're that great, really. They're not that pretty. <laughs> this one's really nice, though. Love her fashion. Aw, oh, man. I just realized I used a fire attack on a freaking water type. I'm so dumb. Uh, let's use flying. Why not? Oh, that's, uh, that's great. Why did I do that to myself? Yeah, I think in the next battle, or at least if she has another Pokemon, should probably go ahead and switch out Blaze. Ooh, Silky grew to level 17. That's cool. Silky wants to learn, learn Moonlight? Let's go. 
You know what? I'm not going to learn it. I, I can't see myself using that in battle. Uh, I'm going to have to go cut out stuff. Man, can I talk to you all day, Johanna? Or Johanna? I don't know, there's different ways to pronounce your name, and I love your freaking style. You're beautiful. Anyway, hi there. If you're on the lookout for a battle at the seashore house, you'll find no hotter trainer than me, Macy. Ugh, battles to cut out. So little time. I'll cut this out. Yay! That was fun. So that took way more effort than it needed to. Only because I decided I was going to be the idiot who went against everybody that I didn't need to. I should have known. It was not where we were meant to be. So yeah, we just did some battles for no reason. I found it! That's cool. See Marvel. Like, see Marvel? <laughs> Ooh, look, it's a bald guy. Um, if this goes here, and that goes there, over there, then where does this thing go? And what about that doohickey? Arg! Can't make... Okay. I didn't read that. Hmm? You? Oh, sorry. I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to draw up designs for a fairy. <laughs> oh, those parts you have. Those are Devon parts. But, hmm. This won't do. I guess Captain Stern is probably off at the Oceanic Museum again. Sorry, but could I ask you to find the captain and give the parts to him? God dang it. Great. <laughs> Great, you could have just let us do that in the first place. Oh. Team Magma's gone. That's cool. Excuse me, please go through reception. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. The entrance fee is 50 polka dollars. Would you like to enter? Ugh, fine. Enjoy the museum. You enjoy yourself. It's a secret that I stopped at reception because I didn't have $50. We were told to assemble here, so we did, but our boss, the linchpin, isn't here. We of Team Magma exist for the good of all people. Okay, then why do you attack me? I can put my knowledge to use in nefarious deeds. We might be able to make money by stealing things from here. If our member didn't fail in Rustboro, we wouldn't have, have to come here. Hey, what are you doing here? Me? I'm the Team Magma member you thumped before, remember? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. So you're telling me to join your ranks? That's cool. Thanks. I'll totally join. Why not? Ah, oh, darn it! You so screw up our plans. I was going to steal something to make up for it, but just you wait. You'll get yours one day. What? You just abandon all your teammates, dude. I don't even remember if that was a girl or a boy. Oh, cute. Where's Captain Stern, though? Is he here? Yes. If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you for bringing the case all this way. Now we can prepare for our expedition at last. Oh, god dang it. Ha 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 ha. Just a moment, we'll be taking those parts. What was that? Who are you people? We are Team Magma. Our boss has need of those p of the parts in that case, so relinquish it to us at once. 
Uh, and who, what made you think that was gonna happen? Ooh, a Team Magma grunt. Wow, I'm so scared. It's a Nummel. It's a cute, cute little Nummel. Adorable. <laughs> um, well, I don't really see this going well for me. Oh, never mind. That was easy. That was easy. Anyway. <laughs> oh god. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I don't remember what I was talking about before when I was doing the video earlier because I kind of went on a whole tangent thing and then completely forgot what I was talking about because I went out to go help out with the food and eat dinner. Absurd! I was defeated by this child! This is quite disastrous. At this rate, I will become the target of the boss's fury. My, you really are incompetent. I suggest you observe while a future ace grunt of Team Magma makes short work of this infant. Excuse me? Um, I'll make you eat those words. <laughs> Zubat. Dude. Dude. A Zubat, though. Boy, why? Just why? Oh no, a numble, a numble! Whoa! So essentially, the only difference between you two is that you have a zoo bat. Yeah, cool, great. You're totally much better. Well, we defeated these guys. They were pretty easy. Oh, like their mom. <laughs> what should we do now? We must obtain that case at once. Hmm. I would never have posited that a mere child would prove such an obstacle. Okay. Ooh. Hello. Fancy. Oh, it's this guy. What did they call him again? Pinhead? <laughs> I don't remember what they called him, actually. Now, here I was, wondering how you could be held up in, set in the simple act of seizing a case. Do I take it you are being stymied by this child? Hmm. Though you are but a child, your eyes tell me your, of your fierce determination. My heart is pounding in my chest. Oh, creepy, dude. I'm just a kid. Yes, I can see. I think I can see why my lowly grunts could not stand one minute against you. I am called Maxi. I stand at the head as the head of Team Magma, a noble organization whose goal is to propel humanity to even greater heights of progress and evolution. Indeed. And you are one of the young persons who may shape our society's future. Considering that fact, I believe I shall ed educate you in the ways of the world. The land. It is the stage upon which humanity stands. The land exists so that so we humans might continue onward and upward, stepping into the future. For us to continue growing and evolving, humans require a grand stage upon which to stand. A land upon which we can stride forward. A land we can explore, develop, exploit. This is the basis for the growth of all human endeavor. That is why we, Team Magma, must increase the landness of the world. Believe that this will lead to a future of eternal happiness for humanity. And consequently, for all life. Hmm. <clears throat> I suppose the concept may still be too difficult for a child to comprehend. Is that the case? At least I have tried to open your mind. I will take my leave for now. I suggest you take care that you never st again stand against Team Magma. I will not be so lenient next time. I implore you to remember that. We are done here. Um. Okay. Creepy? Young lady. Ah, Angel 47, is it? That was quite a tense situation. Thank you for helping me out. Ah, oh yes, I almost forgot that you brought the parts from Devon. Here you go. This is it. I can't be standing around here. It's finally time for us to set out on our ocean floor expedition. Thanks for this, and excuse me. Bye. I guess. Well, that was great. 
So I suppose next time we'll be returning to the ship Portman. Maybe might visit the guy um, that we just met. Mr. What's his face? <laughs> Got him bad at names. Uh, the ship man. Yeah, we'll go meet him again. And, uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Bye. Haha! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out! <laughs> how to- how to play at school! <laughs> That's cool. So, uh... How are all y'all? I don't think this is going in the actual video, but that's cool. Guys, I figured it out. Oh no! Y'all can be in the video and say stuff if you want. Well, I'm just gonna airplay. Oh, cool. It's better than Skype fucking video chat. I know that for sure. This is great. Honestly, I don't know if there are spiders under here though. <laughs> There are. Oh no! Probably. <laughs> Just don't think about it. It's under there. Actually. Uh. It's under in the under. It's in the cabbage club. Well, you know what? I guess I could. I could do this as a practice run. I guess. That's cool. Yeah, that's another word I kept saying was cool. Cool, fun, and great. Those were the three words. Good and neat. <laughs> Good and neat. Wow, so that's how you get connected. Yep. Why? Yep. No! No, you piece of crud! No! <laughs> Screw you! Oh, okay. I didn't take out my freaking thing. Challenged by backpack backpacker Grim? Grim? I guess? I can't read that name, but that's cool. Yeah, good, good question. He sent out slack off. That's cool. That- nah, I need to figure out how to say words that aren't cool. <laughs> cool. Oh no! The game card was removed! Well, that's the end of this video. Goodbye! <laughs>